We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. Finally. Wow, this is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since you were last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Let's take this one step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Give me as much information as you got. There's no way I'm going in there without some guidance. Glad to help. You can always change your mind later. Listen, Layla, before you go off... If this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Herodotus was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but... I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come! The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't gonna win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it! Oh, and Victoria? Read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain.
Hey! Shit face! Get down here! Cyclops got a message for you. Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! Malaka! The Cyclops said you like to act tough, so act tough! Get a little closer, and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always pull it. Yes. You have a lesson. If the Cyclops wants to teach me, tell him to come here himself. Never me- Last week? This shit happens every week. Can't keep doing this. <whistles> nah. Thanks for the warning. Ugh. What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus would bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Cassandra? Maybe you could ask him for me. Phoebe, we've been over this. I know, I know. He's just an eagle. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. What does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. What? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <coughs> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak if he ever sends you here again, I'm gonna cut out his other eye and feed it to my bed. I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. I'm not getting caught without armor twice today.
By the gods! What's happened here? 